We're off to southwestern Manitoba, where we caught up with a gal who's taken her own unique approach to the Métis fiddle. Here's Jenna Lee Martineau. I'm going to play one of my favorite Métis tunes. This one I learned from John Arcand, a Métis fiddle player from Saskatchewan. And this tune is called The Old Reel of Eight. Finley, welcome to the mix. Hi, thank really, you. Really great to hear you play today. Thank you. Yeah. So where are you from? Who are your relations? I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, my father's a fiddle player, so I started playing when I was about eight years old. I learned how to play from my father, who also learned from his father and his grandfather. Okay. Um, and is that a Métis family? Yep. Yes, yeah. my father's Métis, my grandfather as well. Okay. And that's the Martineau name, is it? Yes. So your musical relations are, are through your family. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you've taken an interesting approach to the fiddle because it seems to have to have gone towards the Scottish traditional sound. Why did you do that? Um, well, when I graduated high school, I was looking for, uh, I guess, an avenue to pursue my musical career, um, get a degree or something like that in music. And okay. um, my only options at the time were classical. At uh, the University of Manitoba, mm -hmm. and I was kind of hoping to take a traditional course, so I went on Google and I was Google searching and I found a school in Scotland, so I went to Scotland and got a certificate in traditional music there. Yeah. So Scotland's a place you can go and actually get a certificate or degree in music? Yes, yes. Yeah, one of the only places in the world where you're able to do that in traditional fiddle music. tunes that you played for us today were, were Scottish traditional. Yeah, a few of the tunes I played um, I learned while I was in Scotland. Some of them I wrote yeah. and uh, yeah, a few of them were French Canadian and Métis as well. Right. So it's a nice mix that yeah. way, I guess, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm French uh, Métis on my father's side as well as being Irish and Scottish on my mom's side. So yeah. I try to incorporate those influences into my music as best I can. young were you? When, when did you get going on it? I started a little bit when I was six and then I started taking lessons once a week when I was eight. Mostly I took lessons like when, once a month or so when I was six and it was mostly that my dad would allow me to have like a great big glass of coca-cola which you know sometimes I wasn't always allowed to have so I looked forward to that lesson every every uh, month so I can get that great big glass of sugar-filled coca-cola. <laughs> yeah. Did it help the fiddle plan? <laughs> I think so, yes. <laughs> Come on that journey. Where, where do you hope to go with your music? What, what are you What are you looking to do with your music? Um, the immediate future, I hope to put out another album next year. Um, right. I'd also like to do a lot more performing, a lot more traveling, doing yeah. some music festivals. Um, I play uh, I play quite a bit in Winnipeg. I play at a few different coffee shops and stuff like that. But yeah. I'd hope to expand that a little bit more and and uh, do bigger festivals. I also did a tune today um, that you said uh, you got from John Arcan. Yes. An old reel of eight. Yes. And it transitioned into another tune. Mm hmm. And where, which one was that? That was the Beatrice reel. It's a French okay. Canadian tune.
was it just in the same key or are you finding themes that are similar there? Why did you relate those two pieces? You know, that's a really good question. I, I just thought they, re they really went well together. Plus, you know, the yeah. Métis uh, tunes has some French influences as well. And For that's, sure. a, I don't know, they just go really good together. So yeah. I like to play those two tunes Well, together. it was seamless. It sounded great. Thanks. Well, you know, it's a really fresh approach to, to a Métis style. I mean, there yeah. are those other influences. Yeah, for sure. Lots of in influences. Scottish, Irish, French. Well, Jen Lee, it was a real pleasure to hear you play. Thank you. Nice to have you here on the mix. Thank you. Yeah. Here at the International Peace Garden at Métis Fest near the border in southwestern Manitoba. Thank you.